Okay, now we've got some of the foundations of NumPy down pat. Or well, maybe not. It's all right. You don't have to know everything up by heart for now. Let's look at a little practical example to finish things off. Practical example, NumPy in action. Play the beautiful action music. Beautiful? Wrong word. Let's go intense action music, rock and roll. Now, if we come back here to our Jupyter dashboard, I've got a little folder here called images, which I've just created. And I've got some photos in here. So the whole premise, remember we talked about it right at the start with NumPy is in machine learning, you take whatever data you have, you turn it into numbers, you use a machine learning algorithm to find patterns in those numbers. So what if your data happened to be images and you wanted to find out information about those images? I'm gonna create a little markdown cell here and import, I've got a panda image that we've used in the pandas section. So we're gonna turn our wonderful panda. We can see it there, look at that, he's stoked. Give it a high five, I'm high fiving in the screen. What we wanna do is we wanna turn an image into a NumPy array. Because once we've turned this image into a NumPy array, then we can use the functions that we've learned throughout this entire section to find patterns in that. And we can manipulate it a bit. We could pass it into a machine learning algorithm. The world is our oyster when our data is in numbers. So we have here matplotlib. We're gonna see matplotlib in another section, import imred. So this is just a little, little package within matplotlib called imread, which stands for image read. What this is going to do is imread. We might use our shift tab to figure this out. Oh, is it going to be there? Maybe because we haven't imported it yet. Oh, need something, that's okay. We want to go shift tab. There we go. Read an image from a file into an array. That is exactly what we want to do. F name stands for file name, I believe. String or file like the image file to read. Wonderful. Now our panda image is in the file images under panda.png. So we can pass it a string here, panda.png. What we might do is before we even look at it, let's check what type it comes in, panda. Oh, we forgot the images folder. That's all right. Class numpy and array. Yes, now, what does that mean? Well, it means because it's in ND array format, we can use all of the functionality that we've learned about NumPy on this array. So let's have a look at it. Panda. Wow. There's a lot of numbers there. Let's check out some of the attributes of it. Size, panda.shape, panda.endim. This is pretty big. Uh, what's that number? 24,465,000. It's got a lot of dimensions here. It's a three-dimensional array because the three dimensions are color channels. And what, what this array actually is, let's just view the first 100. So these numbers here, maybe that's even too many. Maybe we want to view the first five. There we go, first five. What this has done is a little function, imread, imread, however you want to pronounce it, has taken this picture and then found all of the little pixel values. So if we zoomed right in here, you might not even be able to see a single pixel. That's all right. We zoomed right in here, got the pixels. Those pixels have color values. So red, green, and blue. And that is what is stored in this array. So if we did the same, let's have a look maybe for another image. So we've got M source. We have another one, images tab for autocomplete car photo. This is what I have. Now you can try this with your own image. Beautiful. So what we're going to do is we're going to car equals imread that same images car photo dot png. Wonderful. We're going to check it again just for completeness. Type car numpy array. Beautiful, so now we've turned this car photo into an ND array, wonderful. Okay, maybe we'll just only see the first section of that. Let's have a look at one more photo. Dog equals imread, 
images. We've seen this dog photo before right at the start. My beautiful puppies. We're going to turn them into numbers. Actually, we want to view it first. So we'll go img source equals images dog photo. Now, if you have a PNG image, this imread function will work with, with your own. So you could try that. To, to start using it, you just need to run this from matplotlib import imread. Then you can use this. Remember to use shift tab if you want to figure out what it does. So we'll turn this into markdown. There's my beautiful parpies. That's seven, that's Bella. So we're going to turn the parpies into, can you guess what data type? NumPy array. Wonderful. So we got dog. So now, what we could do with this is we've done one of the biggest steps of all machine learning is we turned our data into numbers, specifically a NumPy array. So what a machine learning algorithm would do is because it can't really look at this, us people, we can look at this and go, that's a tree, that's a tree, that's a dog, that's eyes, that's a shelter. But what a machine learning algorithm needs is numbers. And that's what it's got here in the form of a NumPy array. So what it would do is it could take Say this tree is, is this section of numbers here. Probably not, but let's just imagine it is. What it will do is then go to this image and then look at this section of numbers here and go, oh, okay, those numbers are pretty close to each other. So this item here in this image must be a tree and this must be some grass. And then same thing in here, this must be some grass because the pixel values are very close together in both images. So. That's going to wrap up the NumPy section. What the important takeaways from this is to remember that we have covered a lot and you don't need to know all of this off by heart to begin with. It's just I've gone through some of the major concepts and functionality of the NumPy library. The biggest thing is that NumPy handles data types like this arrays very, very well. So if you're working with machine learning and you're working with doing mathematical operations, you're trying to find patterns in data, you're probably going to use NumPy. And if you don't understand everything right now, that's okay. There's a lot to take in. Have a break, play around with some of your own images, try and turn them into NumPy arrays. Go back through what we've covered and I'll see you in the next section.